Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a complete guide on the best spots to farm every single ingredient needed to create all recipes within the dawning event but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so today i have a few certain spots in game where you can literally farm every single ingredient super simple and super fast so let's get into my methods of farming people so we will start with the obvious and that is the first set of ingredients and these require kills on certain enemies. So for the Vex milk ingredient you need to kill Vex enemies. For me the best spot in the game is to do this within the Nessus Lost Sector within the Artifacts Edge area, the Orrery Lost Sector. This Artifacts Edge area is full of Vex so kill them then go into this Lost Sector and just farm as many as you want via completing the Lost Sector, heading out the Lost Sector and back in, rinsing and repeating until you are done. For the Aether Canes, you have to kill fallen enemies. For this, I suggest using the Trust Land area within the EDZ. Just run around the church as there is literally a constant spawn of fallen enemies. Plus, there are three lost sectors in this single area, all filled with fallen enemies. So this, in my opinion, is definitely the best place to farm fallen enemies for them Aether Canes. So Cabal Oil is for killing Cabal, obviously. For this I suggest using the last sector on Mars, so spawn into the glacial drift area on Mars and head right. This last sector is filled with Cabal enemies, meaning you can literally farm as many as you like here the fastest way possible in my opinion. For the chitin powder, Mars again is your best bet as you have to kill hive enemies. The core terminus lost sector is a great place to farm these ingredients and every enemy within this lost sector is hive and there are plenty of them people. For the taken butter, taken enemies are what you need to kill. Now I have an incredible farming spot to show you guys as to where you can literally farm every single second ingredient in the game, the harder ones to obtain in my opinion. It's done on Taken Enemies which means you get loads of Taken Butter for. But if you only need Taken Butter and have enough of everything else, the best bet for Taken Enemies is the Dreaming City's Lost Sector, the Aphelion's Rest under Hawthorne's original spot. This Lost Sector is full of Taken. So the Dark Aether Cairns require you to kill Scorn. The best place to do this guys is the Bay of Drowned Wishes on the Dreaming City within that spawn point area. So spawn into the Dreaming City and just turn around. This last sector behind you is full of scorn enemies making farming the Dark Aether Canes really easy and simple people. So those in my opinion are the best spots to farm the first set of ingredients. So the second ingredients ain't all that easy to do. The fact you normally have to go to different spots to do different things, swapping weapons in and out, etc, etc, it can get a little tedious. Well people, today I have for you a single spot where you can farm every second ingredient, super easy and super fast. The second ingredients are as follows. Delicious Explosion, these require explosive kills. Sharp Flavor, these require sword kills. Impossible Heat requires solar kills. Electric Flavor requires art kills. No Taste requires void kills. Flash of Inspiration requires you to generate orbs. Personal Touch is for melee kills. Perfect Taste is for precision kills or sniper rifle body shots. And Bullet Spray is for kills with any automatic weapon, i.e. SMGs, auto rifles and machine guns. So people, I have a single spot for you where you can farm every one of these ingredients super quick. All it requires for you to do is to bring a sword, a grenade launcher or rocket launcher, an auto rifle, SMG or machine gun, and preferably a weapon to represent all burn types. That is it. You then need to make sure you have plenty of red banners which you buy from Petra within the Dreaming City. These will cost you shards or glimmer, both I'm pretty sure you have plenty of. Once you've brought what you need, you want to load up the last wish raid within the Dreaming City. Then make your way into the Wall of Wishes. If you don't know where this is, follow the path I show on screen now from the first encounter's main door.
Once within the wall of wishes, you have to shoot these pads to match the image on screen now, so shoot away. Once you have done that, stand on that center pad. You will then get teleported to Shou or Chi or Shu or Chi or whatever the hell our name is. So once you are here, it's just a matter of you equipping what you want and farming whichever ingredient you need. I will say though, using a sword, you will also get the personal touch ingredients as well as sharp edges. And also as well as whatever burn type that sword is, you'll get its matching ingredient. If you need delicious explosions, grenade launchers or rocket launchers is what you want to equip. If it's a certain elemental ingredient you need, equip the corresponding weapon for that. If it's the flash of inspiration ingredients, don't worry, as long as you've got a super which can generate orbs, selected you will be fine. So once done with your setup, simply rally the flag and walk to that main door. The doors will open and a shit ton of enemies will await you. So simply farm away people. Like I said earlier, these are taken enemies. So if it's taken butter you need, it comes up plentiful here for sure. So once you are done, you can just die, change around a few of your weapons to get other ingredients, rally the flag again, walk to the door and farm away again. And you can keep doing this for as long as you like. And it's by far, in my opinion, the best spot in the game to get this done and get every ingredient in the game. That is for damn sure. So guys, I hope this helps you out. I really do. Now there are a few other spots outside of the last wish raid you can use. Any place where the enemies go against each other is pretty decent, like the hollows on Nessus, the trust land within the EDZ, etc, etc. Problem with these spots is though, the lack of heavy ammo which you will be supplied. And if there are certain ingredients you need require you to use heavy weapons, that can be a problem. But if you just need to farm anything which doesn't require heavy, these can be great spots, but most of the time though I find myself in these spots with other people, meaning I get less materials, but hey that choice is yours. But definitely in my opinion the last wish raid is the best spot, there's no two which ways about it. So let's move on to the third ingredient, the Essence of Dawning. These drop from any activity you get between 1 and 3 from patrol missions, 3 from escalation rounds, 5 from public events, 5 from flashpoint completion, 6 from heroic adventures, 10 from the heroic blind wells, 15 to 17 from heroic strikes, 17 to 22 from gambit winds, and 22 to 29 from nightfalls. Now in my opinion, if you need loads of these, the best thing you can do is as follows. Select your Nightfall card and make that handicapped A110, the highest it will go. Add Heavy as a mod and then add a burn which you want to use. I normally go Solar. Then people just farm this Nightfall. Now at the moment and the reason I'm telling you to select 110 handicap is because when you select this number it actually doesn't apply when you are playing the Nightfall. So although you still get the multiplier of I think 4.55 you don't lose any levels, meaning you can just farm this Nightfall as if it's a standard Nightfall. And you can also skip most of it and still break that 100k score relatively easy. Upon doing this people, and you complete this Nightfall, which will take roughly about 10 minutes, you are rewarded 29 Essence of Dawnings. I would say though guys that you do need a team to do this for sure, otherwise it will take you much longer. If you don't have a team, like I've showed, the list suggests many other ways of farming these Essence of Dawnings people. But this Nightfall farm is 100% the best, in my opinion. But yeah guys, today I brought you the best farming spots for every material in the game. I seriously hope it helps you guys out and saves you plenty of time. If it did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like guides, top 5s, reviews, gameplays, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.